guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Scarus' recent uh, news story that he did about an hour ago. So without further ado, we're going to let's get started. Our first story today comes from the YouTuber Jake Paul. Now, we don't know a couple days ago, Jake Paul was actually spotted in one of these riots going down in Scottsdale, yeah. Arizona. They looked like he was involved in some of the looting there, and it also looked like he stole a bottle of vodka here. I mean, someone actually hit a bottle of stolen vodka from the local PF chains that people actually busted into. It was an absolutely insane, insane story that went down, and a lot of people were upset with Jake Paul for taking part in this. There also was video footage of Jake Paul actually being in a mall that was closed. So people had actually broken into this mall, and Jake Paul went into this mall and took his vlog camera with him, okay, to try to vlog it. I mean, it was absolutely insane. Now, Jake Paul responded here not by apologizing, but he claimed here that he did not take part in the looting. He says here that he had no involvement in it, he had no idea what was going on, and that he was just trying to document everything that was happening. And just yesterday, the local police department in that area, Scottsdale PD, tweeted out here saying, We received hundreds of tips in response to the events at Scottsdale FS. In our continued investigation, it was confirmed that Jake Paul was in attendance and remained inside after an unlawful assembly was declared and has been charged with criminal trespass and unlawful assembly. So Jake Paul has actually been criminally charged here for the events that took place in Scottsdale, Arizona only a couple days ago. This is absolutely insane. I mean, Jake Paul claimed here that he did not take part in this at all, but the authorities think otherwise. It says here in the article that official St. Paul, who has a large following on YouTube, was present after the protest was declared an unlawful assembly and the rioters were ordered to leave the area by police. Paul has been charged with criminal trespassing and unlawful assembly, both misdemeanor charges. Police say he was issued a summons to appear in court in a month, but was not arrested. When asked if any other members of Jake Paul's team were with him at the time and were also facing charges, a spokesperson for Scottsdale PD responded saying not at this time. So the local police here are saying that no one else who was friends with Jake Paul who was there with Jake Paul has been charged, but one of Jake Paul's friends who was there actually wants to be charged with Jake. His name is Azadi. He's one of Jake Paul's well-known associates. He's on Jake's team. So Azadi posts this to his social media. He says, so they want to charge Jake Paul for being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Interesting. Unlawful assembly is a super stretch, seeing as how there was no order to disperse, only a gas can in our direction after walking out of a restaurant to see what was going on. Then Azadi posts to his Instagram, saying, if running from cops shooting tear gas at us with no orders is a crime, then hashtag charge me too. So you have members of Jake Paul's own team that want to be charged with him here. Now, another article came out about this today where people are saying that Jake Paul could actually face jail time over this whole situation. It says here, while Jake will likely have to pay fines in the thousands of dollars, Arizona criminal lawyer Robert Mueller says prison time is unlikely. Jake probably just faces fines in some classes. If he has any prior criminal history, it may be that they ask for jail time. It also says here that the charges will end up on Jake's permanent record if he pleads guilty here. And here's the thing. It looks like Jake actually wants to plead guilty to these charges. He tweeted out saying, give me my charges and let's put the focus back on George Floyd and Black Lives Matter. And it seems like Jake is not going to fight these charges. I mean, it seems like he just wants to accept them at this point. And Jake does have a summons in Arizona now, so he's going to actually have to go back to Arizona in order to answer to these charges that he's been given. So obviously many YouTubers gave their opinions on this, but some YouTubers are saying that they don't think Jake is going to face any jail time at all because he's rich. Chris Reagan tweeted out here saying, reminder that the cash bail system yeah. essentially makes this meaningless because the law doesn't actually apply to rich people. And that's right. Yeah. It doesn't seem like Jake is actually going to face any serious hard time over this. It's true. Because Lindsay Lohan Jake robbed the jewelry video, store like $40,000 of jewelry and only had to spend two weeks in rehab. The court mandated two weeks in rehab when, when other people would actually get jail time for a long time. And all she um, got was two weeks for in okay. rehab. Some of these were getting and Jake likes. Paul, Some of these he could pull real. that ch a card too, say it's because ago, of drugs, and then they make him fitness. go into rehab for a couple weeks. It's like a cover they use just to be able to get away with crimes. It's freaking insane. Just got two channel strikes today for harassment on my new videos. Mm -hmm. Another strike and my channel gets deleted. The videos that received strikes were the h 3 h ones and the I'm Alex one nearly at the same oh, time. God. Again, I don't know if it's h 3 h but yeah, that's the current situation at Team YouTube. Both videos were partly 
crude but not explaining details fun website. So he spoke about Leaky's video getting taken down last week and obviously it was a very big deal because it seems like YouTube has taken a stance against some of the content that Leaky has actually uploaded. Now Leaky was throwing out claims last night that it could have actually been Ethan from h 3 h that is trying to get his channel taken down. But Ethan responded last night and he said, and nothing of value was lost. So obviously initially people felt like this is insane, why would Ethan tweet this? But he responded saying, of course I'll spell it out, I had nothing to do with it, I never recorded his videos, and it's very bizarre that he thinks I wield some godlike power to remove his videos, but no, not me, sorry. Then Ethan tweeted out here saying that Leafy is messaging people to try to message Ethan to help him with his channel situation. And he shows DMs here from the YouTuber Uber Danger, who was trying to help out Leafy here. Now Leafy responded here saying, I'm currently sitting on two community guideline strikes, putting my channel close to being banned. Man, can you guys reach out and help me resolve this? Surely there's some middle ground. Now the YouTuber Nicholas Diorio tweeted this out. He says, I don't think a should flag Leafy at all. I think he should show his flag history on YouTube and prove it once and for all to end the speculation. And that's right, if you're a YouTuber, you can actually look at your own flag history. And this is history that's going to be there forever. It's your permanent flag history. So YouTubers are coming out now saying that Ethan should share his flag history just to make sure yeah, that he, he probably won't, any of these though. videos criticizing him. He probably he is doing it. I wouldn't doubt it. And here that the videos were removed by mistake. They tweet out saying, update, the policy team confirmed that your videos were removed by mistake. Both the videos are back up, and you should no longer see the strikes on your channel. Thanks for bearing with us while we looked into this. So apparently YouTube messed up here. I guess they took down his videos Like what? Accident, it was it because he played that clip of, of Ethan Klein at the end of the video? That's just like joking about uh, Ethan Klein saying he couldn't make it in YouTube this year, a uh, time like this. He's just joking about that. That ain't harassment or anything. That's just joking about that. It's not even a big thing. Over harder, never. So Rain was really upset with Facebook yesterday, and then a fan responded to Rain yesterday saying, "What the? F I thought they would have helped you during a time like this." Rain responded saying, "Helping? They're leaving me out on the streets. Don't give a." Where I am or stay. Now, Face Banks actually responded, clapping back here, saying that isn't f***ing true, Norton. We've offered you to help numerous times. We've explored so many okay. to help you beat this thing, and you have. Scarce did get a, a couple news stories that it's were uh, newer. That drama alert didn't cover. Says, oh, that's what you suggested? Is it that tweet out here saying, Remember before we came as close as we are now, I used to copy your classes on Modern Warfare 2 and steal your shots. You know because you inspire everyone you touch. Myself included, and you know that. I love you so much, Norton. You're going to get through this, I promise. Mr. Beast responded right here saying, You were a very big inspiration to me when I first started my channel, and you've had a massive impact on so many lives. I legit have probably watched hundreds of your videos. Please don't do anything bad. We love you. So obviously many YouTubers are coming out and supporting Rain right now, and that's what Rain needs. He needs all the support he can get right now. And you also have people saying that Rain needs to see professional help right now, and I think that's definitely the best way of going about this. I mean, he really does need to see okay, some guys. Guys, we'll be back in a second. We're back. The YouTuber known as King Batch. Now, this guy is a very well known YouTuber, and recently he posted a Twitter video here and made over 6 million views. Just watch this. They say a black man was killed, but destroying these buildings has to stop. Destroying these buildings is the least of your worries. An innocent black man should never be killed by a cop. This is Batch, you shouldn't speak up, man. You might lose some of your brand deals. My people have been dying of injustice for centuries. I don't give a damn how my brain feels. So because of this video, King Bash was trending over Twitter yesterday, but it was under the category of classical music. I guess they mixed up Bash with Bach here. Now our next story today comes from PewDiePie. So PewDiePie actually posted to his YouTube community tab yesterday, saying today is a day that I just feel so damn grateful for so many things. An amazing wife, friends, and family, but also so damn proud of my audience on YouTube. We managed to raise over $100,000 plus $10,000, which is my contribution, to victims of police violence. The sentencing project and for small businesses affected by looting and riots. That's a massive impact. Thank you to every single donation that was made. So PewDiePie and his audience actually raised a ton of money here, which is awesome to see. Mm, that's and that's good. it for the video today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave a thumbs up. And let's go ahead. Check the drama or need any update videos. Sometimes drama alert does get a story quicker. 
I guess drama alert is does make some fake stories sometimes, but you can pretty much tell which ones that are fake. But some of them, but a lot of things like the Jake Paul thing is true. Scarce covered it too, so you know it's true that drama alert did get it quicker. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, like and subscribe. Till next time, peace out.